Hello my beautiful beardy friends, so today we're going to talk about why the hairs on your beard are so thick and also we're going to talk about those strange plastic like mutanty hairs that pop out and what they really are. As you are growing a beard, there is no doubt that you are going to notice the difference between your beard hair and your head hair, if you have any. Um, but even here, you can see on me, there's a massive difference between, you know, these kind of lighter hairs, not the ones that are disappearing, but these hairs and this hair. And really it comes down to the thickness, the curliness, the coarseness, the wiriness. All of these things make you think, why are these hairs so different? Well, I've looked at all of the science and I've actually got some pretty interesting information for you. And we're gonna look at a little known aspect of growing a beard where you get those weird, strange, super thick hairs. And I'll let you know whether or not that's gonna be an issue for you. Now, this video is based on an article on beardgrowingpro.com. I'll put the link in the description, but go check that out because I've got links to all sorts of things, images, the lot. Go check it out, you won't be disappointed. Why beard hairs are so thick comes down to a little part of the hair follicle that you probably haven't heard of, and that is the hair or dermal papilla. This thing is like a little tiny bulb at the bottom of your hair follicle and ultimately that determines the size of the hair follicle and it determines what sort of hair is produced there. Now on your body you've kind of got three different types of hair. Vellus hair, which is light, um, it's kind of like that down-like stuff that's over every part of your body. Um, then you've got intermediate hairs, but one thing I want to talk about is terminal hairs and terminal hairs are thick, they're pigmented and they are heavily affected by hormones in your body. And that's why uh, the testosterone here has pro produced these terminal hairs in my beard. And here, the testosterone is actually getting rid of hair and turn it into vellus hairs, you know, light, downy, almost nothing hairs. Um, and obviously there's intermediate, which is kind of in, in the middle of those two. Um, but in terms of thickness, which what this video is about, um, the, the dermal papilla actually dictates the size of the hair follicle. And I've got science to back that up. So go check out this image. Where is it? I'll put it here somewhere. But ultimately it's this weird, and they call it like a nipple-like thing at the bottom of the hair um, follicle and it can determine the uh, or regulate the growth cycle. So the growth cycle of a hair um, goes through three stages, essentially growth where it halts and then where it falls out. Those have got fancy scientific names but that's uh, essentially the three different steps and yes this tiny little feature at the bottom of the hair follicle is what determines or regulates that aspect of hair growth and falling out. Hmm, interesting. Here is some science. Now, I don't just like relying on my own personal experience on this channel. I think, even though it's very important to get people's personal opinions, it's really important to find out what the science says. And with a, as a person with a PhD in chemistry, I like to turn to the literature. And that's exactly what I did here. And I found a study in 1999 that looked at hair follicles and the dermal papillas and essentially the impact. And what they did is they took uh, 235 hair follicles from different types of places on the body and different people. So they took male hair follicles from the the face and body, female ones from the scalp as well, um, and they looked at the differences and they essentially found that the dermal papilla, this weird little thing at the bottom of the hair follicle, correlates with the volume of the cortex, so essentially how wide the hair is. And so there we have it, it has been backed up by science. Now the question is, can you influence that in any way to make your beard hair thicker, fuller, denser, all of that stuff. And I didn't find any science to back up the fact that you could change your hair thickness using this little bit of knowledge. So it really comes down to uh, looking after your body, all of the stuff that I've talked about in my previous videos, go check them out here. Um, go check out my channel actually, because I've got loads of different types of advice with different beard problems. 
Um, and yeah, you know, it, it's it's a really valuable resource and I'm, I'm so pleased to add to it all the time. But yes, knowing this about the dermal papilla can't really, there's nothing you can do really. Like it's just set in stone at the bottom, but you can look after your body, you can diet properly, you can exercise, um, all of that stuff. Um, and yeah, that's all you have to control it. So let's look at beard hair and uh, head hair under the microscope and also find out why it's so thick when it comes out of your hair skin Here is Head hair under the microscope one thing you'll notice is that it's round and it is uh, a nice kind of even shape across the surface and that is very very typical of head hair. Now head hair isn't as thick in terms of its absolute thickness and also it is a nice even circular cross section. On the other hand, beard hair is weird. There are loads of different shapes. This is a, um, a optical microscope and what they did is they took different samples from people's cheeks and they just cut them and looked at them in a under a microscope and you can see that there are some weird shapes and those weird shapes essentially create the shape of the beard. They cause it to curl, they cause it to twist, they cause it to be wiry. All of these things that we know and love about our beards is, the, is down to this shape. And remember that shape is determined by the hair follicle which is uh, it, which is also uh, impacted by the dermal papilla. And so all of these things are what create a really, really thick beard hair as opposed to a nice circular um, head, head hair, scalp hair. If you have been growing a beard for a while, you will notice that your beard sometimes produces these strange plastic-like hairs and they are thick they fall out easily and then when you play with them, they kind of splinter and fall apart. And this is a known thing, I found it in the medical literature, it's known as Pili Multigemini or Pili Multigemini, whatever one you want. But essentially it's when hair follicle bulbs grow so close together that they fuse and cause one hair-like thing to come out from three bulbs that sit, or three or more bulbs that sit close together. Um, and they produce this really weird, thick hair that's kind of like a cheese string. Check it out here. But when it falls out, it splits apart like a cheese string um, and it's easy to kind of remove. I find them down here sometimes and just under my chin and I can remove them just by sort of twisting uh, the hair a little bit and they pop out and they are fun to play with because they are thick, they are strange. Um, and yes, yeah, so if some of your beard hairs are super thick, it could be that you suffer or you have more of these pili multigemini in your beard. Now I checked to see if this is an overall issue. You'll be pleased to know that it is not. Like the worst case I could find was that someone had on their back very itchy sensation for like 10 years. I've put this in the article, so go check that out on Beard Grown Pro. Link is in the description. Um, and yeah, itchiness. And they found that, yeah, that his hairs were just growing together and inwards. And so if you have got a uh, particularly thick ingrowns all the time, you may just have to exfoliate more regularly. You can go see someone, a physician and a doctor you trust about sort of con uh, dealing with those, uh, those thicker hairs. But for the most part, I think most of us will get those really, really thick hairs that are super thick, so much more thicker than the other ones. And generally, it is not a problem. Just pick them out, play with them, chuck them in the bin, do whatever you want with them. Um, and yeah, it's not too much of an issue, but that is what those super strange, thick, plastic-like, thick hairs are. We all get them. So there we have it. There is the science and the actual reasons why some beard hairs are thicker and why your beard hair is thick in general. Remember, it comes down to where the hair is being produced, which is in the base, in the hair follicle, with the dermal papilla. Um, and yeah, there we have it. So let me know in the comments what you would add to that and how is your hair? Do you get those weird plastic ones? I'd love to know if you've experienced a lot of them and what you do to either stop them or if you do anything at all. All right, then go check out beardgrownpro.com where I have a ton of other resources and I shall see you in the next video.